she said to me, she walked up to me, and if I start talking to me, I'm not going to call on him. I'm not going to call on him. She said to me, what I'm going to say to you now, which is why I speak, what I'm going to say to you now, please do not call the name. But this person, I can't even mention it, nothing the name start with. This person has come into Auntie Dada and bring a Luminati worshiper on my Pandana altar. <laughs> people yesterday i played a video with a lady explaining some things about a message that prophetess yuna sharp got for dana go and prophetess yuna sharp delivered the message but it never went well because it is said that auntie dana went off the roof she got the highest speak she disobeyed the prophetess the wickedest way people may not lie yes dana go on with herself she never have to go on so somebody say them get a message from God for you? No. What you say, never call for. But, I'm going to play the message from Prophetess Yuna Sharp. No. And people, tell me what you think. Because nobody on the face of the earth cannot sit down and make up these stories. As a matter of fact, it is not a story. It is a message. So, make me listen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I have to come and live, share the video. Share the video, I have to come and live. Falling down in worship, feel a song forever to the land. Good morning to all good morning. Good morning, good morning. You know what? Yesterday, man, the Lord gave me a vision for a woman of God and I sent him it in my advice notes. I'm just praying that she don't come out because I, I would really want to come out with it and lie. So I just hope that she don't come out with it. You know, and, and come, you know, if that the courage and come close, I would hope not. Because I would really have truly a feeling that I'm going to come live with it. I don't think so because I think she, she, she know. Anyway, I said, God, God, I just, God just has shown me things there. So left, right, and center. In tell me, no. When they called me, he said to me, say, I, 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 I called you as a prophetess to the nation. I didn't even know what prophetess mean. The Lord said, I called you as a prophetess to the nation when the Lord called me. But he chose me because I didn't chose him as I tell you before that. I see four angels flying at the heavens. Right with him on the cloud, four corners of the earth. And right with him, spirit would be pretty right in. Elaine, God choose you. And they laugh and fight to the west. Elaine, God choose you. Right at the north. Elaine, God choose you. And to the south, at the four corners of the earth. So anywhere you're there, in that four corners of the earth, and God will give me a message to give to you, I'm going to give you, give it to you. I was a young girl. I didn't even understand what the G meant. Very young. Hey, glory to God. I was a young girl. I didn't understand what the vision meant. But as I tell you for many of you, I spoke to the Lord directly out of heaven. That's how me and God talk. And the first time I hear his voice, I keep on hiding. I hide behind people. The first time I hear the Lord's voice, I hide behind my sister-in-law because I was afraid. When we hear God speak, his voice is like many waters, thunder. When my talk, lightning, thunders, waters gushing like a million streams at Abbasia. When he speak. And that's how I get a lot of That's how we, we talk. We, we talk. And they're telling me to talk to me calmly. When we meet him about conversation, the reason calmly, you know, me is. So, you know, and when he said, I, I called you as a prophetess to the nation, I didn't understand, but now I realize and I know, you know, down the line from back then, what the Lord, you know, showing me and people in my era used to call me prophetess at a young girl age. I didn't understand what it meant but this guy used to come in the morning and say prophetess what you get for, the, for, for us today because everything God showed me everything before the day done it come to pass and they call me prophetess and I did not know that coming in the Bible 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 in the B
Yes, yes, honey. So I'm telling you that now I know why the Lord called me. And Jeremiah was a weeping prophet. He cried out for the people him and they don't want to turn and cheer them, mocking them, cussing them, jeering. And Jeremiah, you know, I cry and weep all the time because other people will not turn and he know what God will do. And it is so sad because there was a time when, you know, the people tell Jeremiah in their face, we will not do nothing that you said in the name of the Lord. I will not listen to nothing when you say. You know, you miss somebody. There was a time when Moses, when the children of Israel tell Moses, said, we don't want to hear from you. God can't talk to us. And, you know, Moses said, all right then. She said, you can't talk to God. Then back out. And when the Lord start to talk, them said, Moses, you talk to him for us, Moses. Listen, let me tell you something. Stop talking, say, you can't talk to God. And that glorified you, stop it. Because if you don't have a relationship with God, you may pray, you may read the Bible, yes, and yes, and think you have a relationship. Let me tell you something. You will in a church and feed the yaga, eat the yaga, hell. You hear me? So you feel like you are living God, and you are not living God. Because God knows the heart. God knows God is a holy God. He wants holiness and righteousness. God wants holiness and God wants righteousness. I already prayed. I prayed if we had come alive. Me bind up every spirit long time. You understand? So I have to pray again. Me pray. Me just go to prayer before me come. Because me come prepare. Set me face as a flint. You understand? So stop saying, oh, God can tell me. Do you know why God have other prophets to go and, and tell other prophets and bring his word? Because God don't destroy a city without warning. So God always having people who are used and not everybody in Sardis has spoiled their garment. There are still people living holy. There are still people living righteous. So stop talking to God can't talk to me. Me and God are in the malice. If you and God does not into no malice, he will send somebody else come to tell you. So it's not about you and in a malice. He might talk, but you're not here. You're not listening. So this is why he sent people come to tell you, said, listen, get it right, fix up. Me is a woman of God and somebody come and get a vision that I don't like for me. Come on, once ago, I said, listen, one fasting for me. And I pray and start to buy and rebuke and reject. I mean, no, I'm here here from God. Me can't be here, let's say, oh, be too agitated. God, talk to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. When you think you're not far, you will fall and come down. I said the other day, that David King you were for his wife. So if a man like David can see who was a king, we is not at all to the devil. Come on, somebody, we are not at all to the devil. So you have to know, praise Jesus, I'm live. You have to understand what I'm saying here. Stop saying, God will talk to me. God will this and God will that. You have come. Me and God will in the malice. Let me tell you something. Keep on the quiet when a woman of God speak or a man of God speak. Because trust me, things not the atmosphere and linger the same way. And if you don't repent and turn and change, it will be on a portion. Because you don't reject the messenger and reject the word of God. And you don't think that and the messenger you don't reject. It's God you don't reject. You don't must stop it. You don't need to stop it when God sent a message. And I'm not going to go inbox nobody either. So, oh, why don't you, you inbox? The last time I put out a vision about this young lady. I didn't say, shut down prison. I said, I see where the enemy. You understand? I see her still now in our know, police car with handcuffs. And I see where the enemy, like, and people was cheering, was shouting, and I want to get her out. And she's on the back of it. You understand? So, and if she didn't stand up strong, I'm telling you, all that is up and down here and there, here, so, here, so, trust me. You have to understand that God sits in heaven and God look low and then bang me here, they bang me there. People who don't take instruction and are like listen to other people, no one hear nothing. You can't call them and tell them nothing. You have to, have to put this chip out of the atmosphere. Because God must get him glory out of all of this. So oh, why don't you go and call him privately? No, I don't know private message for nobody this. Yesterday I give a woman I got a private message. You know why? Because I know how to get in contact with her. Me and I had a friend, but watch up on social media one time, and then she watched me. And me and my friend on TikTok, I'm going to go over there and give it to her. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying here, you know, a private message to what private message. And that could one. God forget him glory, and God will say, I'm a man. Listen this. Hallelujah. So I'm going to continue saying that. Contact the person, inbox him. Then the ear and listen, then read the message and fly away it. You hear me? Then read the message and fly over it. Many of you see the vision I've done for CMR. Three days or four days, the 
before what happened to him. And I put it on my page on social media. And I, and I young somebody sent it to him. And it said in the read link and in the read comment. It was a stern warning. Stay out of trouble. You understand? So these are what these people do. They don't read, read, read your thing. They read it. They don't respond. They don't business. They say, is that somebody I look views and like? I'm not looking no views. I'm not look no like. The only famous person here is Jesus Christ. The only famous person here is Jesus Christ. Do not look at me. Look at the God in me. The one whom I serve. Done. Let me calm down. Can I cuss in a challenge and don't cuss? Now, I've said this morning that we went to Donna House to clean it up. I'm going to explain the vision. I'm going to talk the vision and then explain it. And we went to Donna House to clean up our house. When I went there, I went there with, her, with, with somebody. And she had a massive, massive house with a lot of rooms. Big, 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 big house. I'm not talking about, well, individual is a physical, but I should talk about the spiritual. And we went to clean our house up. When we go in our house, we see a big mirror on the wall, which you know mean reflection and examine yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because when you look into a mirror, you, you, you examine yourself. You understand? You examine yourself and to look if you're all right. You can go up on the road, no, no matter where your eye and nose not run out. And you're quite all right. The kick up nose out here. You know what I'm saying? And you look quite. That's what mirror represents in someone's real life. So in the vision, there were a face on the, on, on, on the mirror. Like somebody put a, 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 a cat, draw a cat, put a circle here, a circle there, some string string hang off, and two eyes in the middle of the mirror. So the years she said, I who do that? I who do that? Who do that? Mark on mirror. The blood of Jesus against Uno. What is it? Uno come put up, put up, um, 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 cat uh, uh, and witchcraft on the mirror. And the blood of Jesus. So anyway, I go over there. I was going ready now to clean the mirror off and wipe off the, 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 the thing that is peeping through the mirror on her. So when I look uh, again, I uh, did uh, a coffee table in the middle of the house. A massive coffee table. It was messy as well. Uh, I, I, I start to clean and, and listen. Many of you don't have the knowledge. So you come and cuss me out and say that the woman also dirty. So I, I, I physical also dirty. So we come and cuss me out properly. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to explain that down, down the line as well. So the, the coffee table in the house was uh, messy. So I started to clean the coffee table up. And a lot of people, you know, were in the house and clean up. Some are run here, some are run here, some are run all over. Here and there all over clean up the house because it was big and it was dirty. The Lord now gave Dana an altar. Hey, Kasataba Aya. Hey, Dabahanda Dabasatai. Oh, Shataba Sanda. Holy Ghost, help me here. The Lord gave Dana an altar. And I'm gonna I'm gonna um exaggerate a bit on what how big it is. The altar is like a, a, a king size bed and half of a king size bed. The width of it and the length of it. So you have a king size bed, maybe like this big, and the other half this big. So they're joined together. So you understand me. So massively big. God has given Dana Go a big, massive altar. Listen me. Listen me. God gave Dana Marie Go a massive altar. Big, big, big altar. One and a half king size bed. They joined together. Long way and the weight. Now, Dana was um was there and saying that, you know, clean here, clean there, and I'm watching the altar. The altar that, that God gave to Dana. So anyway, I went outside. I was in my full white gown. I stepped outside because from the other day, the Lord having me with white gold, white gold, white gold, white gold. The Lord tell me, just in pure white. And people dream to me. Every time people dream to me, I'm in a white gold. Because I'm all in a white gold. So anyway, I, um, I, I, I stepped outside for a minute. When I come back inside, Dana was mad, crazy, and start to cuss. That get up. And said, who done this? Who do this? Who do that? So, the fire come down over heaven. And burn up the altar that God gave Dana the altar. We say fire come down out of heaven and burn up the altar. Burn up the altar. Burn up the altar. The altar rose. I did not see what was on the altar until the altar burned up. Because when the altar was there, I did not see what was on it in the realm of the spirit. I 
altar, you know, all, all along the altar was here, God was over it. But the fire of God come and burn up the altar. When the altar burned up, then I know start to, I should tell what is on the altar. Then I start to create it up. See me, because she, she get freed. In the vision, she freed what, what she see happen. So she get started to shove it up now to throw outside. So I was on my way going back in. So, because I stepped outside. So when I step outside now, we just start to start creep up the, the, the altar. Some massive big stone, the ashes, it was black, and something that took on the altar. When the altar rose, let the Holy Ghost look. When I look on the altar, I saw a massive idol. When we say idol, idol like our belly baby with our brass. Brass, brass, brass idol. Like a man lying up on the altar, brass. Altar of a man. And the man lying up on the altar. And some look out, like a look out. Cup was on the altar, some golden cup, what all of that dog burned up and rose. Some golden cup, some more things on the altar, what if I got things on the altar, like in some material things on the altar, and then rose, them burned up and rose. Them rose and burn up. And then I get scared and start to shake, shove up the, 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 the altar, and she shake goes at her here, man, do the old satay, and creep on the altar, I feel like she put on a platform, on a platter, and I bring, bring it out, beat it, and show out the door. So I said, what happened? And she said to me, she walked up to me, and if I start talking to me, I'm not going to call on him. I'm not going to call on him. She said to me, what I'm going to say to you now, which is why I speak, what I'm going to say to you now, please, do not call the name. But this person, I can't even mention that in the way name start with. This person has come into Antidana and bring a Luminati worshiper on my Pandana altar. This person has come in, has come in with Dana. The person come into Dana and bring along a person of a Luminati altar and bring it on the altar of God that God gave to Donna. That's why God burned it up because the altar is pollute. Because Donna has brought in somebody of a Luminati altar from the altar that God has given unto her and God burned it down. All right. Donna knows how to listen. I need to do something. I said, you got to repair by the altar. Donna started to repair by the altar. Which is a good thing. Dana, sit down. Get, get like Dana was so, like, it's like that judgment was about to strike. So she realized what has happened and she had lost the altar of God. And she need to repair it back, restore it back. So instantly, let me say something. Dana Marigold was chosen by God. And how can I say this? That some people not believe. But God has chosen her and given her an altar to use in a easy way, not fear way. And when you're broken on the altar of God, God will destroy you. Yeah. So in the vision, as it went up and they, and they burned sulfur, ashes, the black idol brass image, idol worshipping on the altar, all I work on my own heart. I said, don't call the name. All I will call my own heart. Before me, I'm like this. We got a black bag on the shoulder. We got a black bag. And they stand up. And I said, she said, she got restored by the altar. She went up there. And she said, nobody cross this line. God do not want nobody to cross this line. If you cross this line, it's like, you're going to get roast sorry, God, I'm going to roast me, I'm going to roast my daughter. Do not pass this line, go. Please walk this side, walk this side. Walk this side, don't come over here. Don't. I, I, I start to straighten people. And everybody start to walk on the line. Pass up on the line, out of where she is. And when they start to walk, I circle back on the altar. No, watch her. I'll be sure by the altar. She bend up on her knee. That's how I know that God called that woman here. But that woman here, you need to come up to God. Don't, and don't tell me, say, you love you, God. Can you pray that and name? No, I hear that. Because God is looking for a true worshiper who will worship in spirit and in truth. Not this way and that way. One way. Now, when, when, I, I'm ready for this because I, I know I'm going to be in shock and eat up like stupid and rice and peas. But I'm used to all those deeds. Now, when she bend down at the altar, it's like she go and light up incense. Because normally, you know, back, in the, back in the days, you like incense. When 
I I I I I I I I'm going to estimate all of that. It, uh, it, it go up back to God as a, a sweet smelling, you know, favor, favor. And then um, God will accept it. Uh, he don't accept it. He will accept it and we reject it. So, Ghana went down on her knees at the altar and she do like this with her two hands because she feared God, you know. Let me tell you something. She feared God. She knew what God will do. She feel that I just the enemy at times just want to get us out of our way. That they, that, 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 that you know, we do the whole thing and feel that we are doing the right thing or we are doing wrong. You understand? And the fear of God that was in the world, oh, Mrs. Shah, worship people, they say, get away, get away, get away. I'm going to restore my altar. I have to go and restore my altar. She bent down and she do like this. When she start to pray, we see a, a massive, it's like a hand. But at the power of God, accept it and come to shoom and lift her up halfway, half of the gong. Lift her up half of the gong and place her back by the altar. The Holy Ghost, lift her up. When she starts to pray, the Lord accept it. And she comes to zoom. I know she knows that she kneel up on her knee. You can't raise up on the gong like that. She have on jeans, pants, half a knee one, and a black t-shirt. And the ear, you know, the piece of ear come on like this. That is how she got to remember the way far as here. And she, um, and she put up on her knee. And when she started to cross her and I didn't pray, the Lord accept it. And the only one goes and the hand goes up. Shoom! And she lift up on the ear. Half her eye lift up on the ear. And the only foot part I know, missy, out. But never still rest up with the rest part of the body, you know. And the foot I know, missy, until she land back on the broken altar. And me jump up. Me say, husband, Never go drag your wife. But we can't keep this. Let me explain it. Sister Dana, you are broken on the altar of God. The altar that God gave to you, you are broken it down. Don't tell me you don't break it down. Do not come out and curse me. I am begging you in Jesus' name that only beg the other lady. Definitely. And everything come to pass. I am asking you in the name of Jesus. Return back to where you are falling from. Do not tell me that in the breaking on. You have broken the altar that God gave you. Amen. Luminati altar <laughs> comes in on the altar of God. Now, the mirror that was in your house, the house represent your inner man. The house represent your spiritual life. And the house need to clean out. You may say, oh, me a bad man, me a what may I do? No, 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 no. Not like that, honey. No. When you dream you are clean of your, uh, your house, it's cleansing. It's purging spiritually that you need to do. Cleanse yourself from bitterness, ages, this, that, you name it. Get yourself back ready. I'm not saying that you're, you're bitter, you're, I was saying, I'm just telling you whatever, you know, you're back in me, that's strong in me. Clean up your whole house that God can, because the body is a temple, you know, and God will live in your body. So the house now, you see, have been contaminated because, um, of the luminati altar that of God that, 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 that because you know your heart now you know become the altar of God you know because when you when you burn something on an altar you you you, you uh, back then God either accept it or reject it so now we don't do these things no more so our heart now become the altar of God that we are offer ourselves up to Him you understand so the heart altar now have been messed up because you have broken down the altar that God gave to you but God wants to restore it back. God wants to restore back the altar that he gave unto you because he has given you a platform altar, massive, big altar. A big, 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 big altar he has given unto you. That, and on the altar is idol worshipping, vanity, and golden cups, and all kind of things. So what is burned up this man because God never accept it. God didn't accept none of that. He, he roast them this morning. He turned black, 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 black. The last God that they put up in front of God, it was the God of, it was Dagon, the Philistine God, Dagon, of 
blackish heart man that they put in front of the ark of the covenant and you know it, it break down and broke up the next morning the next morning when uh, um, they go and look and see that that, that they, 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 their so-called idol god break up them then put him back together again and place him there and this time god take him down from the from the from everything and only this stump stand up anything that you, that, 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 that you, you put in front of god more than god yes in the come your idol in the come now some some you know something that you're worshiping no more than god so god has given you this altar to save soul, win soul. Come on, he, 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 he looking for somebody who will worship in spirit and in truth. Not many people get this, get 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 this thing. Some people dead and gone ahead. Some people get do not get no warning. Some people get no get no get a chance. They just jump out and dead and gone straight ahead. But God showed me this morning that you restore back it. So the mirror on the wall, you have to reflect. You, you, you know, you, 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 you know, um, you say, examine yourself. It's a mirror of reflection this morning. And the eyes that was in it is all that you could see. You're going to see yourself in the mirror this morning. You see the thing on the, on, 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 that is watching you, the witchcraft, the, 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 the eyes of the, of, of the cat, that, 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 you know, that, that, that the place on the mirror. You see this morning. You was busy seeing the things that was, hey, Kasataya, man, did you shanda? Hey, God, I thank God for this revelation right here. You was busy seeing the thing that was on the wall, on the clock. You understand, and you could plead the blood of Jesus against it. Come on, know somebody, but you could not, you, you know, it, like, you, 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 it, it's there for you to look into and see yourself. Uh, uh, you know, examine yourself, do a mirror checkup, spiritually, on yourself. Now, the person that, 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 that you said, come around you and bring, look at the altar, on the altar of God, and you didn't know. I said, you tell me all you, you tell me all the person name. You tell me all the person name. No, God said to go back and restore back the altar that you have broken down. In the Bible, the Lord always sent the prophets to go and restore by the altar that, 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 that they have, uh, have broken down and, and with their Asherah pole, them, 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 you know, them, them idol, them, 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 them be all God and the man of God who used to go in and when they become king or run the city, they go in and just, just repair by the altar, broken down the, the, the idol one and, and, and repair by the altar of God to the original state. So you need to go and restore by the altar of God. Because God has given you an altar. Yet it is easy to come out here and get bashed left, right, and center. Me hear a woman say, one day I come and say, she's that woman and I learn. No, me not go learn. Because guess what? I cannot please man and displease God. You understand? I have to please God. God said, go and restore back my altar. Because God, if, if you don't do it, let, let me get something. You have a platform to preach and teach. Save soul. Oh, you can't get baptized. Send them to go baptize at church. Get back to the place where God has brought you from. Because God has burned on the altar this morning that you have. And I see you going into restore it back. And you humbly go and restore it. God accept it. So when somebody burned incense, is that's why God they reject keen offering. What they bring to the altar, he brings his altar, and Abel brings his own. He accept Abel altar and reject keen own offering. So when they go to God, individual this man, he, he accepted the prayer and he restored back the altar for you. Your art now, Dada, is the altar of God. You're going to offer back yourself to God only as a holy and acceptable, sanctified, peculiar, royal priesthood. You're going to give God everything here. Not just half, everything here. He is waiting to accept your all on the altar. Put your all on the altar. Restore by the altar of God. Watch out of your two eyes. Discern those who are around you. If you were truly walking how God called you to walk, you would have 
concern all of this. Let me tell you something. Michael Jackson dead and gone to hell. He have thousands of million. He have a, he have a, a city. Disneyland. Whitney used to die and gone to hell. She have money. You need it. Then I got to hell. They have everything that they need. So material world cannot save a soul. God burned up all of that this morning on the altar. Because all God need is a true worshiper. To worship him in spirit and in truth. Mm. Restore by the altar of God that you have broken down. Do not follow the body and come cuss me out. You see, anybody who don't restore the heart of God, God always turn up. When God send a message like this, this is very deep. Very deep. Get it right. Let God be sure every man a liar. Serve God and keep his commandment. Live holy and live righteously. Because he's a spirit. And they that worship him will worship in spirit and in truth. truth. <laughs> and this is the time that God is seeking such to worship him. Many people are here only for the mix-up. Many people come over just to hear the mix-up and run with it. Some don't come because they want you to change. So I'm gonna come and talk because I don't want your cuss out. Mm -hmm. But if I were you, if I were you, I would listen to this message, take it in and water, and don't even answer. And you know the reason why I don't come to you directly. Because the last time I was bash, there's nothing that God don't show me to come to pass. Mm -hmm. I didn't come to pass yet. And you understand, it's about. And I've seen it over and over and over. As it don't come to pass, me pray and be God of mercy and cancel it. Because that's what a prophet do. We don't pray and watch God and pray and watch things come to pass. We pray and beg God of mercy and, and we back him on. We don't get prophecy and eat out and I weep and it happen no. We're talking about souls here. The altar that God has given you is a massive one. The host is a big one, massive, 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 massive one. Big, big one. Big host. It can host a lot of people. But it need cleaning up. It need tidying up. A lot of mess was in it. You don't hear me. It's going to. It's going to. I'm telling you. in Jesus name go and repair back the altar of God repair back the altar of God because you have broken it down I'm, I'm out <laughs>